How y'all doing? Who want to talk about what's going on in Santa Cruz today? I got uh, I got some updates about what went on, and my understanding is that some of the properties that were being hit today, they had search warrants for, and others, they didn't. And in one instance that I I had discussed with somebody, they basically use the new laws. If, if you guys are in Santa Cruz County and if you're on Ben Rice's email list, you would have gotten the notice about how what they did was they altered all of the legislation that allowed them to, to abate and fine people. And they basically took away a bunch of our rights with regards to appeals. They made the kangaroo court even more of a kangaroo court and they've upped the fines so like now every gram of concentrate or every gram of flour you can be fined ten dollars for on top of that there's a hundred dollar a plant citation so if you have 400 plants then you're looking at a forty thousand dollar fine so one of the tactics that was deployed today was that they showed up at somebody's property who had everything in a greenhouse there was no plants outside or visible from the sky but they threatened them and said, hey, we can either self-abate or we are going to be back in a couple of days with the search warrants and then you'll have to pay a bunch of the fines. So what I want to do is, A, I want to talk to everybody out there about being prepared for these visits and B, uh, sort of give you guys some of my ideas about how to deal with this. Well, one of them is, do not consent to a search. The problem is that once you do so, regardless of what they're threatening you, um, you've given up a bunch of your rights. You have very little recourse if you have uh, consented to a search. So no matter what they tell you, whether they show you a warrant, because sometimes they're showing you bogus bullshit, do not consent to a search. I think the first thing that everybody out there needs to be aware of and what everybody needs to be doing is when you see them walk up to them with your camera on and record it and whether it's live streaming here on instagram facebook or any other platform where it can be up in the cloud make sure that you are recording what is going on record that interaction because we need to be able to document their harassment and their encroachment i'm not a lawyer uh i've read a bunch of stuff uh and I've been doing a lot of listening. Audible has a great library of law books. Um, but I think that there's grounds to, to challenge even a consented search when the consent was made under the duress of a threat. And so, you know, this is something that we are always told, and I'm guilty as charged as well, that sometimes in the heat of the moment, when you're surrounded by 12 officers with AR-15s, uh, jacked up on steroids and, and in bulletproof vest and you're at home with your family, it becomes really difficult to just say no. But we need to start saying no. We need to start taking a stance and we need to stop allowing them to walk all over us. So as we prepare for this bullshit that's going to be coming, uh, I want to remind everybody out there do not consent to a search. If if you need to leave the property, leave. If they try to stop you or ask you a bunch of questions, tell them that you were not discussing your day. That uh, and, and if they continue to try to hold you back, to ask them if you are uh, if you are being detained. And if you aren't being detained and you aren't uh, under arrest, then you should be allowed to leave. But make sure that you document everything. And that it's really important to record them because as we start to coalesce, there is no we yet. Right now there's a bunch of us that are pissed and nobody's actually getting together and organizing. But I'm hoping that like given the given the further encroachment, that some of us are gonna wake up and start to smell the coffee that laying down and taking this shit isn't gonna get us any further. It's, it's just going to lead to more. And if you hear what's coming out of their mouth, 
and you hear what's coming out of my mouth and other people's mouths from the last year, we warned you guys that this was going to happen this year. And they warned us. They said that they're going to be back. And the way, and based on conversations that I've had with people that have been hit this year, is that this isn't the end of it, and that they're going to continue throughout this season, and they're coming back next season. But guess what? We we do have the power to make change. And the power to make change has happened in the past. In the past, we had to run a referendum. Those things are not cheap. And in the past, we've been blessed to have big donors. And maybe a lot of those big donors have moved on to other counties. And you can't blame them because this is not a climate for any sort of business to thrive in. Um, But that doesn't mean that we don't have what it takes to make things happen. If there was over 300 properties that were hit and each one contributed $500 $500 to a legal fund. That's $150,000. $150,000 goes a long way. That would allow us to A, um, run, a run an initiative, or B, file a lawsuit. Um, I don't have all the answers, but but I'm just t- trying to, to brainstorm and try to figure out what it is that we can do as a community uh, to stand up against the oppression and the encroachment. And I think that that's really going to begin with us unifying. And even if that's just something small, like forming like a mountain landowners, or mountain homesteaders organization, where we can start addressing more than just the cannabis concerns. Because I think that when you just talk about everything in, with regards to cannabis, it falls upon deaf ears. But there's a lot of us out there out here that have made this our home. And... We care about a lot more than just being the right to grow. We care about fire safety and community safety and standards and health. And there are a bunch of topics that that we as growers in the community can can get around. Yes, we do need ro- lobbyists, but but you know who the best lobbyists are? We, we. When we gel together, we are the citizens of this county. We are the ones that need to unite and make our voices heard, so that. When we get together, uh, we form a voting block. It would be awesome to have full-time professional hobbyists, but the re- I mean lobbyists. But the reality is, is that is that a lot of the money has dried up because of the encroachment, because of the seizures, because of the chopping back of the plants, and so a lot of us are struggling. And so we don't have the money to just fight them the same way, but we can fight them in an asymmetric warfare by. Finding commonalities with other organized groups, working to support their causes if, in exchange for them supporting our causes. And even if we all, if there was 300 of us and we all, and we all uh, committed to donating 50 bucks a month to a cause, in, in a year we've saved, we've already saved, uh, Three hundred dollars a piece. Three hundred times three hundred. That's ninety thousand dollars. That goes a long way, and we need to stop playing the short game. We need to go the long game. They like they've been fucking with us for years, and they will continue to do so. So uh, I don't know. This is just my fucking rant as I'm about to roll up some of this beautiful Cuban black haze, aka Uptown Piff, grown by my man J Family Trees, who's killing it. Um, I, I I took the family off the mountain today and it's been a stressful day as we try to avoid further harassment, but I'm just reaching out to the community today to try to inspire um, some action. And if anybody out there is listening and wants to take part and be involved, hit me in the DM. We're going to start, we're going to start uh, rallying. Some up, sometimes I back up some of them a rally back. We are road warriors and we take no back chat. Full of big talk and can't defend that. If a jailhouse you come from, we send in you go back. That's a, that's a big shout out to my man Supercat, the original Wild Apache. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything really more productive to say at this point. I just wanted to, to get that off my chest that we need, we need to unify. We need to organize. We need to start talking about things. We need to start taking action. And I want to make sure that everybody out there who's getting ready to be raided is prepared to let them know that you do not consent to a search regardless of whether they have a warrant or not and make sure that you record your interaction with them. Uh, please take those steps because the more that we can 
the more that we can organize and and record and document their encroachments the, the more the game plan will come together we don't have to have the game plan together right now but at least we need to to work on getting it together and that's going to start by just taking small actions so again i'm going to repeat it one more time or probably the 10th time since i've gone live be prepared for their visits when they come please do not consent to a search keep your mouth shut they're going to ask you a bunch of questions you just have to tell them that you're not here to discuss your day and their standard questions happen to be is, is there cannabis on the property do you have a firearms they're looking for any in to squeeze you so exercise your right to remain silent exercise your right to not consent to a search um and record everything and spread the word run tell that as I contemplate and discuss this with a bunch of other people, I will be becoming more vocal and active in, in, in sharing my thoughts uh, with regards to how we can defend against their encroachment. I want everybody to remember that while it seems like they're winning, they're actually scared. There have been cases that have come up recently where the DA and the sheriff's office have been purposely withholding evidence, uh, even against judges' wishes. Why? The only time that you do that is if you have something to hide. And why do they hide it? Because they're scared to lose power. So if you do wind up in one of those situations, I encourage you not to just take the dismissal. Push, push. If they're trying to hide something, it's worth getting. And I'm sure that the community will be here. And if it isn't, I'm looking for you. And we'll find a way, man. Much love to all of you. Thank you for listening to my rant. I hope everybody has a blessed day. Big up. Respect yourself. Fuck the police. Let's uh let's beat this swine flu. It's worse than COVID.